Hey guys, this is Warren here from Toy Fishing. Uh, we're really struggling with the uh, numbers, so <laughs> if you're <laughs> desperate like us, like, subscribe, and get on our website. Hey guys, uh, just keep saying hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's hey guys. <laughs> hey guys, it's Warren here from Toyed Fishing. We're really, really excited about this video we're bringing you today. It's the clinch knot and we will be tensile testing it. We will be testing the clinch knot in monofilament, braid and fluorocarbon. 10 pound, 30 pound, 50 pound, 80 pound and 100 pound. Five line tops. We spent a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of energy. We've really enjoyed it. The data's there for you guys on the on the screen, literally. Do whatever you want with it. I've tried my best to give you the results that really are meaningful and you can put them to use in your everyday fishing. Let's test the base fishing line strength and see what the ultimate tensile strength is compared to the listed strength on the packaging. These are not IGFA rated lines, so I'm expecting a variation on the actual test measurements and the manufacturer's specified sizes. So now we have an average ultimate breaking strength for each line weight. This will be our 100% UTS or ultimate tensile strength. This is typically measured in pascals and can be recorded in newtons per square meter or pounds per square foot. But to simplify this for everyone, we will record and convert the results to percentages, where 100% refers to the maximum breaking strength of the line itself without any knots in it. We will not use the manufacturer's stated line strength as labeled on the packaging, but rather test and formulate the actual exact strength and then use this as our baseline, the real 100%. We have completed 10 individual tests per line type and per knot. This will also include all the testing to establish the minimum wrap amounts to prevent slippage and the optimum wraps for strength. So, all in all, about 450 line tests. Alright, let's take a look at monofilament, see if it actually holds up. See if, uh, if it's any good. Not sure if the clinch knot's going to do good or bad on this, but these are the results. We're going to tell you how many wraps. We're going to tell you how strong the actual line was, and we're also going to tell you exactly how strong the um, the knot is, clinch knot. Let's check it out. So, looking at it quickly, we've got 13.52 for the actual measure strength of the line we tested. It's suggested as eight wraps. And the overall knot strength is 84.6% for a 10 pound line. On a 30 pound line, the line strength was 42.2 pounds, seven wraps was used, and we had a percentage of 83.4%. On the 50 pound monofilament line, we had 66.8 pounds for the actual measured line strength. We suggest five wraps for this as a minimum, and 81.4% for the mean knot strength. Right, so we're getting to the heavier monofilament lines here now. You'll see slight changes in the results now. The actual measured line strength, can you believe it? 103.5 pounds for the 80 pound line. Incredible, really. Anyway, the mean knot strength, 70.8 and five wraps again on this one. So slight dip there on the strength, on the thicker lines. And then on... 100 pound, uh, we actually got 118 pounds on the a mean line strength. Four wraps was used with this, and we got about 80% on average on the mean knot strength. All right, let's check out fluorocarbon. Let's see if it's better than monofilament. Not sure. We'll have to see the results. Really important line. I use it myself. 
Um, I do appreciate it's out of some people's budget, it's only because of the expense of Flora itself. But anyway, we've tested it. Let's see how this clinch knot holds up with fluorocarbon. On fluorocarbon, it showed the knot performed slightly poorly. This will be due to the slighter stiffness in the raw material and it not coping as well compared to the monofilament. So for 10 pound fluorocarbon leader, the line tested to 11.4 pounds. We used seven wraps, which was a minimum for slipping and the overall mean knot strength was 81%. On 30 pound fluorocarbon, the line actually only tested to 27.6 pounds, so slightly below. We used six wraps on this and we got a 78% uh, mean knot strength out of that, similar to the 10 pound actually. On the 50 pound fluorocarbon, the line actually only tested to 42.3 pounds, um, so actually it's getting worse as we go. Now, this fluorocarbon we used is 100% fluorocarbon, not the coated stuff or the cheaper stuff you get on the market. Five wraps were used and we achieved 76%. So actually it's dipping now. Lost another 4% there from the previous results on that was on the 50. Okay, and on the 80 pound fluorocarbon, uh, the line only ended up testing at 58.7 pounds. Knot strength actually inc increased to 83%. We used five wraps on this. So yeah, interesting that the line is actually down almost 20 pounds might be worth looking at those results in another video. Slight concerning actually, considering the brand we used as well. And finally, braid. Well, <laughs> should we talk about braid? Well, I'm going to tell you a lot about uh, about this subject with uh, clinch knot and braid. You know, it's not a braid knot. I'm going to be honest with you. It's I, I would certainly Let's see if we can find a better knot in the weeks to come. But nonetheless, I've done it. I have actually tested braid with like all the different line types, like we said. I mean, I was freaking twisting that freaking thing. 12 wraps up, 12 wraps down, 25 freaking wraps on some of those knots. And like, do you know how many hundreds of knots we freaking tested? I, I, I could probably get a job in like a T Tibetan monastery or something, like one of those monks, like <laughs> freaking winding this tapestry like up and down. I'll, I'll probably get like a few bucks an hour. I reckon I'd be a legend. I could freaking out tapestry anyone. But anyway, <laughs> let's check the results and uh, see if I've still got a job with the monks. Cheers, man. <laughs> so looking at the 10 pound braided line, what's interesting straight away is the actual measured line strength is 21.7 pounds, which is more than double the manufacturer's listed strength. And the mean knot strength is 80.42%. Um, so we use 12 wraps up and then we wrap 12 wraps over the top of that. So 24 wraps in total to actually stop this knot slipping. All right, on the 30 pound braided line, the actual measured line strength was 32 pounds. That's actually really good. That I mean, that's well within IGFA standards there. 10% uh, margin. Mean knot strength, 78.5%. So similar to the um, previous. And again, 10 wraps up and then 10 wraps back over. 50 pound braided line. Again, 55 pounds we achieved on the main line strength. 12 wraps up, 12 wraps down. 74% uh, so slightly lower. On the 80 pound braided line, 86 pounds for the actual line strength. Uh, eight wraps up and eight wraps down. Now this is when it started getting interesting with braid is on the thicker braid it, it really deteriorated very quickly. Um, 62 on the knot strength. It just wasn't yielding uh, any anything decent. I mean, I mean that's almost, well, yeah, pretty poor actually to be fair. And then uh, on the clinch knot on the 100 pound braid, yeah, actually low, 94 pounds for the actual line strength. Again, eight, eight wraps up and eight wraps down and, well, 69%. Slightly higher than the 80, but again, you can see the thinner braids do slightly better than the thicker braids um, with this clinch knot. But again, I mean, 16 wraps. I mean, you're talking about a minute to tie it. And if you've got like five or six knots on your, on your rig, I mean, yeah, it's, an, it's a non-starter, to be honest. 
So it seems pretty detailed, right? With custom-made industrial equipment and decades of engineering experience in the team, we have embarked upon the largest independent line testing program to ever take place on YouTube. You've just watched the first episode in our new series, The World's Strongest Knot. Every line type, every knot, we're settling all the debates once and for all. So, on monofilament, the clinch knot achieved 80%. And on braid, the clinch knot achieved uh, 73%. And finally, on fluorocarbon, surprisingly, the clinch knot achieved about 79%. So all in all, it's a good knot. Slight knowledge needed on the braid side of things, but the results are solid and repetitive. Get the kids or newcomers to this amazing sport and start them tying this clinch knot. I'm Waza, that's Jasper. Looking forward to the next one. Cheers, guys. What? Check it. These freaking bad boys, man. Right. Let's hit it. Goodbye, Norma Jean. Though I never knew at all, you had the grace to hold yourself. Man, these things bring on the Elton in me, man. That guy loves his freaking glasses. Whoa! What?